Yo, you guys, what is going on? It's your boy Blazendary here, and we are back with another edition of the vlog. We're gonna start this episode off by putting away the clothes that I got in the last vlog, which was the Bape and Pokemon collab. My girlfriend and I waited in line, it was a lot of fun, and Pokemon has just really been a hot topic these last couple weeks. Definitely check out yesterday's vlog before watching today's. Oh, Lauren, here's your shirt from uh, yesterday. Thank you. You look so cute in your Pikachu. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look, we got the same matching hoodie right there. Now, also in today's vlog, because while well, you guys are seeing this on a Tuesday, we're going to go ahead and do a little edition of Take My Money Tuesday. The outfit that I'm going to be putting on today is going to be correlating with the unboxing we have to go ahead and open up. Haven't been able to wear this orange bomber yet, especially because not only number one, yes, I'm in New York and I can rep the Yankees, and uh, also it's a heavy jacket, but two, because we got a very fire pair of orange shoes so let's go ahead get downstairs and crack open today's unboxing what i have for you is a pair of sneakers that i believe was canceled i've tried to find all the information i could online about this sneaker and the information is very scarce just because well these are a sample so check this out. So here is the box for the sneaker. As you guys can see on it, it's got like a little decoration, which I think is super cool. And it also has right here a little cancel side box tag. So I think that's also a really cool piece of information to have when you're getting a pair of shoes without a box. So shout out to the Sneaker Knockers LLC. So we'll have more information about a little giveaway coming up on my Instagram. <sighs> Damn. Right here, we have the unreleased 7-Eleven Nike SB. So first up, inside the box, we just have some 7-Eleven themed paper, which I think is super cool. A really nice touch once again, so thank you to Mo. These 7-Eleven Nike SB Dunks were rumored to release back around in May. This isn't the only pair of Nike SBs we've seen get canceled. We've also seen the Strawberry Cough get canceled because, well, the cough is sort of like a thing for the, you know, the, the, the thing that's going on in the world right now. But why were these canceled? I think there's a couple reasons and I'm gonna go ahead and put my own little sneaker conspiracy cap on and we'll break it down right now. According to some sources, people were led to believe that these sneakers came out because of the Tokyo Olympics that were supposed to happen this year but never ended up ultimately happening. 7-Eleven has a huge international presence, like in Japan, it's like a huge chain store, just like here in America. Another rumor is that these shoes aren't even really wanted by the skate community. Let's keep in mind here, Nike SB was brought on as a way to get people into Nike skateboarding shoes, and many people were led to believe that skater culture had no relation to the 7-Eleven chain store, whether it's like, were skaters skating in the parking lots and they were getting thrown out, like there's not not really much of a reason to slap a logo on the side of this SB. Was it just a promotion for 7-Eleven? Like how, kinda how we saw the Ben and Jerry Chunky Dunky where they just throw the, the store chain right on there maybe more business, business opportunity, who knows? But unlike the Chunky Dunky, these never got released. So that leads me to believe that these were just not only not wanted by the community, untimely because of the Olympics. The color palette's okay, but I just, I don't really wear any of these colors in my normal rotation. I mean, finding this orange jacket alone was hard enough in the collection and I barely wear this thing as it is. There was also a rumor that you could buy these on DoorDash when they started carrying 7-Eleven products available on their app, could have been Photoshop or, or what else. So maybe you guys in the comments have some information. This also isn't the first time that Nike has done something similar to 7-Eleven when in 2008, they released the Nike Big Gulp which you guys can see by the picture right here, inspired by the Big Gulp Cup. Now, when these first got canceled, people were paying around three to $4,000 for them. Being that most sample shoes run in like a nine, nine and a half, which these happen to be, these only go for about maybe 16 to $1,700, especially because they don't have an original box like most of these early sample pairs. And instead they just have the external laces, which it, they're sort of all the same, except one of them has like a slightly oranger hue than the other. and then you just have green. Let me know what you guys think of these down below in the comments. Are these a shoe you would have bought if they came out at that $100 retail price tag? If these actually got released, my guess would be maybe $550 or $600 just because once again, it's a 
interesting color palette. But I know I'm gonna wear these with my outfit today, so I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the vlog, and hope you leave a like if you enjoyed this little unboxing. Let's get back to it. So now we're gonna go ahead put these babies on. I want to take a picture with them at like 7-Eleven or something. Undesing a sneaker like this. <laughs> I love getting it on camera. Oh, they're stuffing. Yo, I think these actually kind of go crazy now that they're on foot. I love the white laces with them. The best part is if you guys want to win a pair of these yourself, I'm really giving away a pair right now on my Instagram. So be sure to check out my 7-Eleven post that's already on the gram when you guys see this video. I um, headed out to work, baby. Bye, baby. Sure is very windy today. You see what's on feet? Shit. Yeah, good up today, bro. Yo, James, would you wear these if they dropped at retail and you got Hell them? Hell yeah. You would? Yeah. I don't think they're ugly. You don't think they're ugly? No. Barris likes them too. These are fire. On a day-to-day -day wear, these are just not practical enough. But if you could pull it off with, I guess, an outfit or... In this case, I'm going with a bright-ass orange jacket. It sometimes has the ability to work out. If Nike dropped these at retail for $100, would you buy them, number one? Um, would I buy these for $100? Hell yeah, I'll take these for retail. All right, number two, 100%. would you wear them or sell them? Would I wear these? I mean, it depends on what, what the um, value is of the shoe, honestly. You already know me, I'm a collector. Collector first, so I mean, a shoe like this, the only piece of history, you know, collab with 7-Eleven. Just pulled up the 7-Eleven to grab these fit picks right now. What flavor are you thinking? Try that cherry. Wouldn't cherry be red? White cherry. White cherry? <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit of that. They got the 7-Eleven the logo on them. Let me ask you, how much do you think that shoe is worth? Yeah, uh, maybe... You have to take a guess. Maybe uh, 200 200 yeah. How, what would you what would you think if I told you that she was worth like four thousand dollars? <laughs> well, that was successful. That was clutch, man. Yeah, that was a that was a pretty fun trip, bro. You know what was cool too? I really liked how you asked, um, you were like, yo, have you ever seen these before to the, the cashier? I don't think I would have ever done that unless you were <laughs> here, bruh. You never know, you just gotta ask some questions. Now we have the biggest pain in the ass, parking. God damn, parking is so expensive. $60. Well, it's better not. It's better that I don't get a ticket, though. Let's be real here, because that adds up over time. Paying a hundred bucks every time adds up a little differently than paying, you know, fifty to sixty dollars every time. It's good blazing berries. Good blazing Sheffy. All right, what do you think of them? All right, I have a couple of questions for you. Number one, did you just undies these today? Yes. Okay, you've definitely worn them. Um, number two, this this was an official release from Nike? No, they got canceled. They were supposed to be for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. 7-Eleven's like a chain in Japan. And because it never happened, supposedly they got canceled. And a lot of people are like, well, why the hell is 7-Eleven and SB collabing? It's not anything related to skateboarding. Right, right, so what's the point? So they canned them, exactly. But these were really made by Nike? These aren't some like... No, no, they're really Nike shoes. I really like this detail back here is sick. These got made, but then got canceled. Mm -hmm. Unlike the Chunky Dunkies that got released, these didn't. Heading home now. Freezing. Holy crap. But this is a beautiful day. The wind could not hear it, bro. Yo, we just watched this <laughs> funny ass video of this dude jumping without bending his knees. Show him how it's done. Ready? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> We're gonna be jumping without bending our knees. <laughs> that hurts my brain. <laughs> Had a lot of fun shooting today in these. It was honestly really cool to get people's reactions and see what the hype was about with the 7-Eleven SBs. Thanks to my friends over at Sneaker Knockers for hooking me up with these 7-Elevens. They're also a VIP Discord where you guys have the chance to buy really awesome pairs of sneakers at retail cost in their Discord. So I'll leave a link to that down below in the description. They get you a lot of early and unreleased pairs just like these. I know I'm gonna be hitting them up for some future pairs of sneakers like these that I'm gonna need for some content to show you guys in the future. It's your boy Blazendary. Thank you for watching this vlog. I had a lot of fun filming it. Tune into the Pokemon channel if you wanna watch Pokemon upload. It's your boy John Carlos signing out. Stay positive and peace out.